Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. Hey guys, that's where RoadToRuta.com. Big discussion today. Silver Unobtainium. (laughs) John Claude's channel. Live discussion, noon. Uh, Today is April 10th. Uh, We're going to be talking about silver with David Morgan, a very longtime friend of Road to Ruta. Um, Great guy, by the way. David's awesome. Love that guy. Uh, Amy loves him even more. (laughs) Uh, And uh, David and Jean-Claude will be chatting about silver today at noon. We have hit the inflection point. Um, They can do, they are trying to do every single thing to slam down the price of silver. Uh, but it is not working. By the way, this is on Rumble and on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, I yeah. If we get, if we get down the conspiracy route, YouTube might uh, Jean Claude might decide just to go over to Rumble. I highly suggest watch starting it on Rumble so it's not interrupted. Uh, I think they're going to do some Q and A in the live chat. It, it gets a little silly, and we tend to talk for a while. So check that out. Um, amazing time for silver. This is the most exciting time for silver in the past 170 years. <laughs> this is the end of literally over a century of price suppression. Um, interesting this morning, you see this little slam down. Normally, this happens when they, you know, when the commercials are short, which they are. They are, are either trapped or they're just waiting, luring you in. But nobody's biting. I mean, the retail side is pretty much dead. Um, the wholesale side is rocking off the charts, literally off the charts. Uh, we're going to be talking about that, especially about <laughs> the solar situation. How long has Road to Ruta been screaming about solar? Over six months. Um, no, it hasn't slowed down. It hasn't stopped. Not even close. How is that? How is that even possible, Bix? They're using $350 million ounces of physical silver last year and they're going to double it again that's impossible it can't happen it won't happen you're hearing all the the experts in silver say oh you know it was just a huge year last year it was it was a surprise that's what that's what the silver institute is going to say even though i was screaming at them for a good six months there was nothing no surprise about the whole thing zero surprise the only surprise is that they didn't say anything the silver institute and metals focus said nothing to the silver community <clears throat> Why? Because it would have been extremely positive to the investors. So the investors are kept in the dark as usual, and um, China is able to soak up all the silver. India is able to soak up all this. Every over two hundred planets, planets, over two hundred countries have signed a document say they're going to double, triple, quadruple their solar installations, and they are doing it, and they are doing it. With the help of the government, you know, Janet Yellen runs over to China to say, stop making solar panels, stop making electric cars. You know, you're, you're subsidizing, it's not free market. Meanwhile, we're subsidizing both solar and <laughs> electric cars. It is insane what these idiots think they're getting away with, but this is how the silver riggers die. And we will see it is happening now. The shorts are getting bigger and bigger, especially in SLV. If you are invested in SLV, Kiss that money goodbye. Mwah! Later. I would say in mining shock stocks as well. They're rigged too. But the reality is when the shit falls apart and you can't get any silver because it's unobtainium, every single silver mine on the planet will be nationalized by its government. I would highly suggest it in the United States of America. What? That's anti-capitalist. You think we have a free market society? You think capitalism is is true and, and effective? We don't even we've never had there's been, never been a truly capitalist society in the in the on the planet. Everything is even our money is not capitalist. It's not free market. Everything is rigged. I mean the overt rigging is the Federal Reserve managing interest rates, which is exactly why people were saying, oh, my God, silver's going to crash. Here it is. Obviously, this is very bad news for Biden. Wall Street reacts to today's red-hot inflation print. What have I been saying? The Biden administration is done for, and they're going to destroy the system before the election. Now, both sides want it destroyed, the good guys and the bad guys. 
the good guys want it destroyed because you know you need to replace these complete criminals who run our lives. Not just our financial markets, not just gold and silver, our entire lives. That's all falling apart, and that's the good guys' fight. The bad guys want it to go because they're, they're in a pickle. I mean, everything's held together with scotch tape and lies. And so they could have lied about the CPI number. Everybody knows it's a joke, but they didn't. So who's really in charge of that announcement? <clears throat> but that was the idea. Let's slam silver and gold when we pretend that the uh, Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates to a point higher than inflation. That's what they'd have to do to stop inflation. You have to raise, interest, like Paul Volcker did when he raised interest rates to 20% when the inflation rate was 15. And it doesn't happen overnight. It, take, it took Paul Volcker three or four years until things got under control. <clears throat> Janet Yellen stopped, you know, we get to 5 or 6% and he's, oh, that's it. We can't do it anymore. We have to lie about inflation numbers. <laughs> it, the insanity of what's going on. <clears throat> the good thing is you can profit from it by getting yourself real assets in your own possession only. This is just another sign. This has been going on for a couple months now. The uh, attempted takedown that fail. Fail, fail, fail on every level it is failing. Um, it, it, easier seen here. The announcement right here, bam, slam down. Look at that red. This is the red volume right here. Massive volume, all ready to go. So the U.S. government said, okay, we're going we're gonna to scare people with inflation, meaning the Fed's going to have to raise rates. That will take commodities down, no problem. They make the announcement, and then J.P. Morgan and friends hit sell, 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 sell. That's the way to do it. <laughs> no, it isn't. That That's the funny thing is, when the uh, J.P. Morgan riggers were in, the ones that rigged silver went into trial, there was a part where they testified, yeah, we would hear that guy, you know, he, he clicked them out so fast. That's such a ridiculous, I mean, I, I had been saying that for years. Ah, uh, they're clicking the mouse again. The reality is it's already programmed in. There's no mouse clicking at all. I mean, it was, I think that was said just to keep the, the average Joe Schmo thinking, oh yeah, this is a real trader doing, No. They, act, they, they plug in their computer program, what price they want at what time, and then hit enter, and then you're, you're good for the next six months. That's how powerful these entities are. But are they more powerful than China? No. Are they more powerful than India? No. Are they more powerful than the, the combined Belt and Road Initiative countries? That's 75% of the population. No. This is the end game. This is what's happening. We knew it would happen. We knew it wouldn't happen on the comics. The comics is going to shut down. <clears throat> the shorts can't cover. They never will be able to cover, ever. That's why they never have. <laughs> they would love to be no shorts, but then you have a you know a $5,000 silver price if there were no shorts. So we're at a point where the commercials are adding more and more shorts just to keep the price under 30 bucks. They're trying little operations, I think that the big operation is going to be shutting down the system. And that's coming. It could happen any day. But really interesting, the attempted smackdown, but it's not going to happen. This is the end game. And I, I, I see these analysts come out and say, well, this is why this is happening. It's all bullshit. <laughs> Computers and, and derivatives have controlled the market since the early 1970s. From the original programs and Alan Greenspan wrote. I, I have proven it a hundred times since Sunday. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to break 30. We're going to break 50. And then we'll break 500. And then we'll break 1,000. And then hopefully we'll have free markets then. And at that point in time, the banks will not be out there speculating, rigging prices. Jamie Dimon will be in jail. The entire system will be imploded. That's the kind of world we need to have a free market. And free markets equal freedom. If you don't have free markets, you don't have freedom. Right now, we don't have freedom. We're coming up to a tax day where you're going to give your tax money to a cross-dresser named Zelensky over in the Ukraine who's going to give it to friends from FTX, the deep state pedo gang, and who are going to funnel some of that back into the Democratic Party to try to help them pay off people to, to you know, stuff the ballot box or whatever they're doing. That's what your tax money is going to. 
your tax money, along with other ridiculous programs. Hey, let's let's get rid of all student debt. Well, we had to pay for it with our taxes, which is insane right there. And now Joe Biden has decided that not only not only did we have to pay for it, but we're going to have to pay back all the interest that they owed in taxes. And what did these people get? They got, you know, four, eight years of uh, gender studies at your finest universities. And those who did, what about those people who are having to pay back their loans that didn't go through the government system, that had to get a loan another way? You gonna, you gonna forgive that tax too, Joe, just to get elected? Or to destroy the entire economic system? I mean, he's forgiving it, uh, a debt owed to the United States. It's the United States' largest asset is the student loan debt, which is embarrassing. I can't think of a worse credit. So, yeah, you decide whether or not you're going to pay taxes. At a minimum, you should do an extension, at a minimum. But then again, you know, we got the IRS who has no laws. There's, there's nothing at the IRS. They've, they've weaponized the IRS. Yes, they have... IRS agents running around with submachine guns now. I, I remember seeing some of the training videos. These are just ridiculous pencil pushers. They're not even good pencil pushers. These are the, you know you want to know where your your gender studies majors end up. They'll end up at the IRS enforcement arm, being trained on how to how to literally knock on people's doors and take their money or take them to jail just for breathing. That's how bad the United States is right now. Anyway, back to silver. Um, yeah, again, I'm talking with uh, David and um, John Claude today. Um, by the way, in case you were wondering, the Silver Institute has been ca- called out and caught out. So on the 17th, uh, Wednesday of next week, they will have to publish a report showing that no, it, it, the amount of silver used in solar panels wasn't their expected 160 million ounces. It was more closer to 300. It's actually 350 or more. And yet they're going to come in somewhere, my guess is 270. Either way, a massive miss. And there's no reason that they should have missed this. I was screaming about it with them. I talked to the heads of both those companies, Metals Focus and the Silver Institute. I said, what are you guys doing? How could you not see this? And what was their excuse? Hey, we have people all around the world. Well, the the <laughs> the guy over at the Silver Institute, it, uh, it's a one pony show, uh, said to me, "Hey, I know what I'm doing. I started the Silver Eagle program. I, I'm like, I did a lot of research in the Silver Eagle program. I never saw your name anywhere on those documents, anywhere. So you can say what you want, but <laughs> I think you're full of shit. Anyway, they're gonna come out." <clears throat> with a shocking report. Oh my God. Let's say hate China because they're doing exactly what we told them to do. Get rid of fossil fuels. Remember that, Joe Biden? China's the biggest polluter. We've been calling China the biggest polluter forever. And now what have they decided to do? They've decided to go green. What does that mean? Uh, right now they have to install and plan to install and will install Uh, six terawatts of solar between now and 2030, just like all the other countries have signed up to do, even the United States of America. That's uh, over over a billion ounces of silver. Where's that coming from? I thought we were in a silver deficit. It's just one of the many, many, many things going on right now. Um, So, yeah, it doesn't surprise me when they try operations like this. I mean, look at that huge, whoever sold that tried to get everybody to capitulate, like, the commercials usually do, and then they have to buy it back, which they couldn't do, so they're even more short now. And the only way to get out of this is to shut down the comics. That's coming. Um, so just be aware. I mean, when 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 uh, Jean-Claude titled this Unobtainium, I, I believe that came from Cliff High originally in his dad. He said, silver will become unobtainium. And we're like, what the hell is unobtainium? It means you can't obtain it at any price. And unobtainium is literally a function of price in a free market. If I have a million dollars and I want to buy an ounce of silver, if it really was unobtainium, you won't be able to buy an ounce of silver for a million dollars. 
Meanwhile, all these futures and options are delivering. All even even all the the silver is leaving all the ETFs at a at a time when the price is rising. How is that possible? I thought as people are more and more interested in silver, they're supposed to be depositing silver. No, they're just going naked short. I heard the naked short is over 35, maybe 40 million ounces right now of naked shorting of uh, SLV. Wait a minute. SLV, and a physical ETF, according to their prospectus, deposits an ounce of silver for every share issued. So are you saying 40 million shares are not backed? with silver in a, in a physical ETF. That's exactly what is happening. And by the way, Bitcoin people finally understand what a nightmare derivatives are and the ETF in Bitcoin. What a nightmare. Of course they won't allow it to go up. That's how they, it's one of the tools to rig. Another tool to rig the silver market is tell them to stop making silver eagles. Ventress Gibson, the head, the HR professional who heads the the U.S. Mint has once again told the U.S. Mint to stop selling silver eagles. They have not sold one silver eagle since March 1st. What? How can you say that, Bix? It's right here. 850,000 was reported on March 1st. And as it says up here, sales totals by month are updated every weekday by 5 p.m. So almost a month and a half. They have not sold one silver eagle. Premiums have started to rise. They've already rise, risen a buck or two. And remember, we, we were had a, a time there was, what, $15 premiums? Yes, so as an American citizen, there are a lot of benefits to holding silver eagles other, over other forms of silver and pre-65 coinage. Um, one is, is the obvious. It's, it's the money. It's the currency of the United States. So the, the penalties for making a fake silver eagle are much, much harsher than a fake, you know, silver coin, any kind of coin, or even uh, adding molybdenum to silver bars, which happens. I'm, I am a huge advocate of holding everything below 10 ounces and below in silver. With gold, it's one ounce or, or you're screwed. I mean, those beautiful 10-ounce gold bars, you could just peel that gold right off. Tungsten under that one. So we, w we will hit a point where all metals are called into the question. So yes, buy eagles from a reputable... The other things, I think there'll be a huge taxation issue when it comes to physical silver. Um, because they're going to want to get the physical silver out of your hands. But I don't think in the United States they'll be able to tax the money of the United States, the silver eagle or the silver coinage. It, it makes no sense and it won't happen. It's, you know, I go through the road to root of documents. We're moving into a free society, not one of domination by the government. But at the same time, we're going to have to do something when it comes to silver. Most, most, there are, I think, 20 states with bills on the books to varying degrees to make gold and silver money. They know what's about to happen. The whole world knows what's about. The question is who's to blame? I think Jamie Dimon and, and the, you know, the board of directors at J.P. Morgan, who were knee-deep with Bernie Madoff, knee-deep with Jeffrey Epstein, probably knee-deep with P. Diddy. That's the latest, the P. Diddy drama. So... So how long do we have to wait? Oh, you poor silver investors have been waiting so long for this. Hey, hey, I've been waiting since 1999 when I first figured out it was rigged, along with other my friends at GATA. That's a long time, but it's, it, it was important time. It was a time of learning. And that's why I, I don't answer questions I get about cryptos. You need to learn cryptos yourself. You need to go, how did everybody learn cryptos? It, it was invented out of nothing. How, do, how did we learn that stuff? How do you learn how to deal in cryptos? It's called YouTube. YouTube University taught everybody how to deal in cryptos, and those videos are still there, and there's better ones now. You got to weed through the shit, obviously. Everybody's going to try to take your cryptos. <laughs> but you need to do your homework. So I don't answer any questions about, oh, how do I transfer, how do I buy Veritasium? Go to Mercatox. How do I, there's other ways, and it, 
do the homework, my God. Thanks, you're not telling us how to buy. Well, I do. I have a video on how to buy uh, Theta and how to store it and how to stake it on the private road, road to root.com. I got to do something for a living, right? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it is It is insane. Unobtainium is coming very fast down the pike. When it hits 30, all chaos breaks out, just like it did in 2021. Um, in 2021, they had the JP Morgan one point. Two billion ounces of silver they could flood into the market through Bank of America. Um, they don't have that anymore. That's gone. And now we have China saying, dun, da, da, screw you, America. How China, this is the New York Times just last week. How China, or three days ago, no, last month, how China came to dominate the world in solar industry. Beijing is set to further increase its manufacturing and installed. Uh, installation of solar panels as it seeks to master global markets. The solar, the, the silver industry has gotten the solar story wrong for four years now. So wrong, it's embarrassing. Even the solar industry predictors have gotten the solar industry installations wrong for four years now. It's embarrassing. Yes, we will double again. We will double again. Not in solar installations. We'll probably go up 50 50% or so. But of those installations, the amount of silver being used is 65% more in Topcon. And all the manufacturing facilities are switching over from Perk to Topcon. All of them, all throughout China, where 85% of the solar panels are made. So that's more silver upon more silver. We will go from 350 million ounces of silver used last year to 700 million ounces this year. How do I know this? Because they've told us. Because China has said, we're going to do it. We're going to live up to our COP28 agreement. And in that agreement, it had the tripling of renewable energy by 2030. And most of that has to be in solar because you can't triple the wind that fast. What is that? <clears throat> My take, you need six terawatts. Six terawatts of capacity added between now and 2030. So what's China doing? Right here. <clears throat> While the United States and Europe are trying to revive renewable energy production and help companies fend off bankruptcy, China is racing far ahead. At the annual session of China's legislature this week, Premier Li Kuang, the country's second highest official after Xi Jinping, announced that the country would accelerate the construction of solar panel farms as well as wind and hydro projects. Uh, I'm going to talk to David about it because one of the guys he's listening to says, I'm from the solar industry, I know, and even though it's gone up to here, flattening or, or, or leveling off. I'm like, hello? Why doesn't anybody talk about China when they, when they hear the word solar? China put makes 85% of the solar panels and, oh, by the way, installed 100% of last year's total production. Historically, their total production, sorry, their total production. So in China installed about 240 gigawatts, which is about half, about almost half of the 442 gigawatts DC. DC is important. That's 20% more silver than AC, which is the, the rated capacity of a solar plant. Yes, I had spent months doing this, and I walked... I have walked the Silver Institute and Metals Focus through this stuff, and it's like, <laughs> there is no reason on the planet why next week's announcement that, oh, solar was a surprise. There is no surprise. And I was screaming at these guys for six months. A lot of people were. We knew it at least six months ago. Halfway through 2023, the numbers were in, it, were in and it's like, oh, my God. And look at the backlog. Oh, my God. We're going to double. We're going to double the amount of silver used. And they made even more. And now I'm saying it this. We're just into the first quarter of 2024. They're going to double again. And the Silver Institute isn't saying a word about it. That's not even possible. How can we go to 600 million ounces used in solar for 2024? That mix, you're full of shit. How many years in a row do I have to be right about this? Before you say, oh, well, maybe there's something to it. Maybe there's something to the road to Ruta theory, the Gata boys say now. 
I got kicked out of Gata, kind of. When I said, oh my God. Hey, Gata people, there's massive amounts of gold and there's very little silver. Bix, blasphemy, you're out. <laughs> blasphemy. Oh my God, I took so much shit. But yes, of course, there's massive amounts of gold out there that they're not talking about. All you have to do is read Sterling and Peggy Seagraves, Gold Warriors. Look at my, my research in the gold in the Grand Canyon. Chocolate Mountain, California. We're talking millions of tons of gold. And, and anybody who hasn't heard that and, and followed the research on it is going to be shocked. When not, I don't think the price of gold will go down. I think when the system falls apart the, you know, or starts to fall apart, the price of gold will double, let's say, to $5,000. But it won't go up much more until they print more money. But there's plenty of gold to use as money going forward because it's not as scarce as you think. There's at least 10 times as much gold as guys like Jeffrey Christian will lie to you about. Actually, I don't even know if Jeffrey knows. He just makes it up and pretends. Kind of like the Silver Institute. They make it up and pretend. We're fine. They've been fine for 10 years. The Silver Institute has walked free for 10 years. And now all the you know chickens are coming home to roost and they're like, oh my God, these people are such assholes to us. That's right here. Apparently, they're screaming at people who, who call them on their shit. I was very polite when I talked to both of them. But I was firm and saying, hey, you guys are so wrong. It's going to be really embarrassing for you. How could you get it so wrong and not warn anybody? You just put out a warning last month or in February. <clears throat> oh, 1.2 million houses of demand. I'm like, what the are you talking about? A rise of 1% next year. That's just insane. Anyway, that's what I got. <clears throat> By the way, CNBC, Costco selling as much as $200 million in gold bars monthly. Wells Fargo estimates. Um, that is true. And they, are, they were selling silver. Imagine if they sold $200 million of silver bars. Wait a minute, Bix. All of a sudden, silver, that's a lot of money. In gold, that's not much money. In silver, that's a lot of money. And so they, they, they're sold out. Costco sold out of the Silver Eagles. Interesting, huh? At the same time, the U.S. Mint isn't making any, isn't selling any Silver Eagles. I think we're at unobtainium now. It's just see how long it takes for the, the price to actually show it on the criminal comics. But today's another. We are literally, we're a buck fifty away from hit, breaking that $30. That's the first barrier. Second barrier is 50. I think it'll like a knife through butter. After it solidifies $30 as a as a floor, it's like a knife through butter at 50 because it's a wall of worry. Because twice in our recent history, let's call it recent, 1980 and 2011, twice the bankers allowed the price to go up to $50 and then slam it down. I'd say in 1980 it was, you know, it was the Hunt brothers. Yes, I get it. But the artificial part was when they changed the rules on the comic and said all of a sudden, okay, no more, no more uh, buying, only selling. And the price dropped from 50 down to 20 bucks in, in a blink of an eye. So it was artificially taken down into an artificial bear market. In 2011, it was a little different. J.P. Morgan put Bill Daly as Obama's chief of staff. They ran the price from 20 to $50 to create a fake movement of metal to get all the weak hands in and start an artificial bear market with the derivative slam back down. I think it went under $10. <clears throat> this time is very different. Very different. I don't think we're going to get an artificial slam at $50. I think we, we do have to, we've hit the point where we have to find out what the true fair market value of silver is. Because it's not $28. And it's not $280. It's probably one-to-one -one with gold, I hate to tell you. I don't hate to tell you. It's obvious to anybody who studies silver. How much is coming out of the ground? It's coming out of the ground seven-to-one. How much is above ground? It's above ground at one-to-one. -one. Of that seven-to-one that comes out of the ground, how much is used in the industrial side? 100%. <laughs> Just about. This year will be 100% and more. So you make up your mind what the ratio should be. But historically... It was based, before the computers and derivatives came in in the 70s, it was based off the supply and demand of above, above ground 
um, silver versus above ground gold. And that ratio is one to one now. What do you do? You, know, you, you pull gold out of the ground, you stick it in a vault. You pull silver out of the ground and you throw it in a landfill ultimately. So yeah, <laughs> and silver is so much more important than gold. It's amazing. Anyway, um, that's all I got for you. Again, at 12 noon uh, Pacific time, 3 o'clock Eastern time. Hope I have that right. Yep. Listen to us live. Uh, put your live chat questions in there. I think we're going to do Q&A. Um, lots to talk about with our friends Jean-Claude and David Morgan at Jean-Claude's Beyond Mystic channel on Rumble, or it's also on YouTube. Uh, hope to see you there. This is Big Swear. Um, by the way, I will be talking to Jenny tomorrow again. Lots to talk about. She's on fire lately getting everything right. I know a lot of people don't believe in it, but hey, if it points us in the right direction... That's the way I want to go. I'd rather go in the right direction than scour around and look at things in the wrong direction. So go check it out. Uh, hit subscribe today. We're currently giving away 5 Theta, 50 Theta Fuel, and 500 T-Drop with every one-year subscription. All loaded on a paper wallet and mailed to you. Um, and a one-year subscription on the Road to Ruta is $2.99. If you want all the free updates... Go to roadrooter.com on the left side, public road updates. Put your name and email address in, and we'll put you into our email system. This is Big Swear. I'll talk to you later.